Hi guys, welcome to today's video. I am so excited for today's video because I'm gonna be coming on and sharing with you my update for my nail polishes. Now, I only do these videos when I actually have progress to share with you guys because I used to do them, I think, every month, but there was really no point in coming on and saying, oh, well, I don't have anything to roll out or, oh, I didn't really make any progress. So I just decided when I had an update, I would film a video, I would share it. This way we can just roll the product out and then just continue on with the project. So these were the two that I was working on. I was working on Sally Hansen in extreme wear mauve over this is my favorite nail polish love it it has been my favorite since i got it this is probably about three years old maybe even more it could be about five years at this point but this one is my newest one that i ended up getting for my birthday last year and this is actually tunnel taupe and this is from essie so this one was actually in here i think since the beginning of the project but the reason why i'm not really focused on like using this up is because this is newer and i would rather focus on my older nail polishes but when i need a change from that nail polish i just use this one or if i want to use this one as a topper I can. So this one here I have in my project for 12 uses. I ended up using it four times previously, so I only had eight more uses left on it. I actually didn't use it at all in April, so I haven't used this at all since my last update. This wasn't a focus for me, so I still have eight uses left on this nail polish here. I'm honestly not in a rush to finish it. I'm honestly not really like focusing on using it maybe depending on whatever gets rolled in next i may because there is only eight uses left and i may just try and focus on the shade that is either the least amount of usage or if that one stays in but for right now i still have eight uses left on it it's still brand new i don't feel the need to go ahead and like focus on using it when i can focus on using something else I am so excited for this update because I have a nail polish that's going to be rolling out and that is going to be my Sally Hansen mob over. This is such a bittersweet moment because this is my favorite nail polish shade. I love it. I have worked on it so much in this project and last year. It's so bittersweet. On one hand, I would love to keep it in this project and keep using it. On the other hand, it is nice to finish it so I can roll it out, get more use out of my older shades, and then purchase this one. I went to the drugstore and I did see that they still do have this shade, so it does make me feel a little bit better that I finished this and I can repurchase it. I will not repurchase it right now. It will be in the future. I am trying to finish a few more nail polishes before I buy any new. I actually had a usage goal for seven times. I ended up using it twice in March, five times in April. This was my last time using it. And the reason why it's my last time is because the formula is getting extremely thick, extremely clumpy. When I pull it out, it's really, really stringy. And the last two times that I've really tried to use it, it doesn't go on my nails as well. I ended up putting glitter on the top of my nails so that it would look a little bit better because it was really, really like patchy and clumpy and it wasn't even. So I actually used my Tati Beauty like the pressed glitters and I kind of just put some on the top of my nails because I could not apply a second coat it would just get too thick and clumpy and bumpy and it was never smooth. I started this project up here I went here I am right under the word wear which only leaves like a tiny bit left in here and when I actually look in here and if I tilt it I can see the bottom so this one here, I've used up as much as I can. I know that there are some people who have mentioned to go and get like a nail polish. Is it a thinner? A nail polish thinner so that I could continue to use my older ones. But my older ones are like five years old. So I don't really see the point in going to buy a nail polish thinner when these ones are pretty old. Maybe in the future when I go and actually purchase like a nail polish I bought a top coat, a base coat. I can then purchase a nail polish thinner because some of my nail polishes will be a little bit newer. But these ones here are fairly, fairly old. Like I had these when I lived at my boyfriend's parents' house. So that's, and even my house, like my parents' house. So that's how I know that they are getting older. And I do want to like use them up. And I did. I used this one up as much as I could. And honestly, like I said, it's bittersweet because... I truly truly love this. I don't know if you can see but there is so much windowing on here So that being said I do get to roll in 
a new nail polish, which is really exciting. So I am gonna keep this one in here. Of course, this is the Tunnel Taupe. We're gonna keep it in here, so I feel fine with keeping it in here. This one, when it goes on the nails, it's really, really sheer. It's a really sheer, very, very light, basically, nude color with a peachy sparkle so when i want something like nude or barely there i can use this or if i want to top my nail polish with something a little bit peachy and sparkly this is really nice to do that with so that means i'm gonna go to my tiny decisions app and we are going to generate a new nail polish shade and i'm so excited so let's see what it's gonna be i can't wait Okay, okay. This is what the Tiny Decisions app generated. The Tiny Decisions app generated my nail growth optimizer. Now I ended up putting like my nail growth optimizer and a cuticle oil in here because I just don't use them. And because I did open them, I would feel very wasteful like throwing them out and I can't really give them to anyone because I use them. So I put them in here. I don't know about this one. I would say I wanna keep it in here until it's done. But I don't really know the formula of this. I don't know how much I'd be applying it. I, I just, I don't know about that. So we're going to set a usage goal for this one. And we're going to see, we're going to be working on these two, a nail growth optimizer and the SC Tunnel Taupe. Um, I'm really curious to see how these two are going to go. Maybe I'll be able to finish them around the same time. That would be really, really fun. And then I could just roll two things in. But let's generate a usage goal for this again. I would love to keep it in here until it's done, but I've never really used it. Like I've opened it and I've kind of played around with it, but it's been a while. I don't remember if I can like layer this with a nail polish. I don't, I don't remember. So we're gonna see. So I'm gonna go on my pretty random app. We're gonna generate a number from one through 12, eight times. Okay, that's gonna be really fun because now both of these are eight uses. So if I'm able to like layer them or maybe I could use the nail growth optimizer one day and then the next day I could apply the nail polish and maybe if I can continue that cycle of them I could just roll them out at the same time. So I have a feeling these are going to probably be in here until about June so that'll probably be my next update. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys have finished nail polish or if you're working on a nail polish I would love to know. If you've ever used a nail growth optimizer could you please let me know in the comments down below like how it is. I mean I'm gonna google it obviously. I just don't remember if you're able to like apply this let it dry and then put your nail polish on. I don't remember. So my nails are gonna look a little bit more nude for like a month or two, but that's completely fine with me. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my next one very, very soon. Bye.